Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to prepare this awesome extra cripsy fried wings. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So here I have my wings and it's already clean and washed. And I use vinegar to clean my wings. But you guys can always go ahead and use lime juice if you have lime juice at home, alright? Or if you want to add both, you can always go ahead and do so, alright? So firstly, I'm going to go in and season my wings. And guys, all of these ingredients that I'm using, you can always get them at your local supermarket or grocery store. Again, guys, remember to be creative. Remember to be you in the kitchen and utilize whatever you have at home. So to my wings, I went in and add some soy sauce, some black pepper, some all-purpose seasoning, and some paprika. Then I'm going to nicely combine all of that together because, you know, we want our wings to be nicely seasoned all right no unseasoned wings around here <laughs> so once my wings is nicely seasoned i am gonna cover it place it in the fridge for roughly about an hour to an hour and a half all right so while my wings is in the fridge and all of that goodness i'm just gonna go in and prepare my wet ingredients for my wings so of course i'm gonna go in and add the flour then i'm gonna add my all-purpose seasoning a small amount of paprika and some black pepper and of course i'm gonna add one egg to this all right be sure to remove the eye from the egg and again guys the eye is that white attachment to the yolk all right just use a spoon to just try to remove it nicely all right the if you don't remove it then you tend to the the the, the wings tend to be a little bit raw all right and we don't want the the wings to be raw at all all right so i added the room temperature water then i added the eggs as you can see or egg sorry and guys i'm using a fork to combine everything together nicely and you want your flour to dissolve all right but you guys can always go ahead and use a whisk if you have a whisk at home all right so now that my wet ingredients is nicely combined together i'm gonna go in and prepare the dry ingredients for my wings so of course i'm gonna go in and add some flour then i'm gonna go in and add the regular seasoning that i used earlier the paprika the all-purpose seasoning and the black pepper and and I'm using a small amount all right combine all of that together again you want to ensure that the both the flour and these seasoning are nicely combined together all right so at this stage I went ahead and put my frying pot on the stove with some vegetable oil and I'm just gonna allow it to just eat up a bit all right so firstly I'm gonna take two pieces of the wings place it in the dry ingredients then I'm gonna go in and just dust off any excess flour from my wings and then i'm gonna place it in the wet ingredients all right and again we want our wings to be nicely coated in the wet ingredients and you want to always ensure that you um, remove any excess from your wings like any excess of the um, wet ingredients all right then you place it back in the dry ingredients and ensure that it is nicely coated properly all right if you guys have gloves at home you can always go ahead and put on a gloves because I know it gets a little bit sticky and some persons don't like the the feeling on their hand all right guys again remember to be you in the kitchen all right so if you don't like the feeling just Try to do something about it, all right? Put on a gloves. <laughs> or you can just use simply use a, a, a fork, all right, to combine everything together. So again, it's the same procedure. We're just going to place the wings in the dry ingredients. Then we place it in the wet ingredients and be sure to dust off any excess flour, all right? Once it's nicely coated in the wet ingredients we're going to place it back in the dry ingredients and ensure that it is coated properly all right so now that my oil is hot i'm going to place my wings and of course we want our wings to be nicely 
cooked and we want it to be golden brown as well all right you want to always turn your stove on medium heat or if you turn it up it's going to fry very fast and it might not cook properly all right so now i'm gonna turn my wings on the other side because we want the other side to fry as well all right so what i did i went ahead and prepared a nice sauce for my wings and i use basically i use some soy sauce some catch up a small amount of water and i had some crushed red peppers that i use and i put it on the stove allow it to come to a boil and i also add a small amount of brown sugar and the brown sugar contribute to the taste of the sauce all right so that's what i'm going to serve up my wings with that nice sauce all right so i will show you guys how i made the sauce in another video so i can't wait <laughs> so stay tuned all right Alright guys, so now that my wings, they're nicely fried, I'm just going to remove them from the hot oil. Again, you want to ensure that the excess oil from the wings, they are drained. So you can either put it on a strainer like I'm doing, or you can place it on a napkin so that it will soak up the excess oil, alright? So I'm just going to remove this, as I said, and serve it up and show you guys the final product. And here you have it, guys, the final product of my extra Cripsy fried wings and listen guys this was amazing and i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe i hope you guys go ahead and try it out and remember to stay tuned for this awesome sauce thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe bye